What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tunji's Podcast. I am your host, Tunji Taylor-Lewis, and I'm very sad, disgruntled, and frustrated because Instagram is not working. I'm recording this on July 3rd. By the time this posts on Instagram, it'll be July 4th, so hopefully by then, Instagram will be working. But I'm dying over here, man. I'm, I feel like a freaking crack addict right now. And I need to get my fix, and I can't get it, man. Somebody gotta give me my Instagram, man. Somebody gotta give it to me, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, here's the thing about it, though. I don't know if it's actually the Instagram that I'm missing, or it's the fact that I'm used to posting a certain amount. I have my routine down. I know what my online audience likes from me. I know how I want to present my, you know, content to them. And the fact that my routine is being broken. So I don't know what's actually stressing me out. The fact that I can't go on Instagram or the fact that I can't, um, that my routine, my regular routine, um, of, of putting my, my, uh, my passion out there my acting my entertainment stuff my podcast that could be the thing that's actually stressing me out because you know the easy way to go is like you know oh like kids nowadays are addicted to their phones they don't talk to each other they don't go outside all this stuff blah 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 and granted there might be a little bit of truth to that um, for, you know, some people, some people are addicted to their phones, you know, some people, you know, would rather get validation on Instagram than to, you know, build real relationships with people. That's very, very true. However, I do believe that social media is the current, you know, manifestation of that problem, but it's not the cause of the problem. Here's what I mean by that. People being fake, people being presenting themselves as something that they're not, has always existed. It's just that it's taking on a new form because of social media. You know, people were always, you know, trying to like stunt like they were something. The whole fake it till you make it mantra has existed long before social media. People dressed up in clothes that they couldn't afford, bought houses, bought cars that they couldn't afford, you know. Um, You know, you know, like, you know, try to try to act like something that they weren't. Right. So, you know, we oftentimes as millennials get criticized for, you know, you know, the stuff that we're doing and wanting validation that that's not that's that's not real when in actuality, if you just look throughout history, that's just the way it's always been. It's just that social media is the modern day manifestation of that. Um, so, I, but like, this is the problem that I'm currently going through. So I was just able to post my lip sync video, but my podcast episode that I po- that I recorded yesterday, which I would usually re- uh, post on Instagram the next day on IGTV, that is still not being able to post. And that's frustrating to me because that's the majority of where I get my podcasts, uh, listens or watches from. That's where I get the majority of them. I am trying to build like my YouTube and my Facebook and my audio platforms. And for those of you who are engaging with those things, thank you so much. It means the world. That's the goal. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, my Instagram is still what's, you know, driving this whole thing. It's the promo machine for this whole thing. And so to not be able to post on there, given how much, you know, time and effort, like, you know, goes into these things. It's a little bit frustrating when you're not able to post it. Um, And uh, yeah, for me, like, I I think that, you know, um, other than the fact that, you know, scrolling through Instagram is fun and being able to see different types of creativity is fun and it's what I'm used to. Um, I think the most frustrating part for me is just like not being able to put my work out. So that's the other thing. But I guess the other part of the discussion is like, I was thinking to myself, man, what was I doing to pass the time before social media came around? I honestly don't remember. 
like, like, you know, when Facebook and YouTube came around, that was it. That was it. That's all we did. I mean, I would play video games, so that took up some time. And then I would be on social media, and then I would do homework. So, a combination of those three things. I didn't really text people, because I wasn't really, you know, that social back then. Didn't text, wasn't texting a whole lot. Oh yeah, and I, and I, and I did track and field. Track and field, uh, theater rehearsals, video games, Facebook on the desktop, not even on the phone, on the desktop. So, there was a variety of things that I was doing, yeah, it's true. But now that I'm out of high school, I'm no longer a track athlete, I'm no longer doing theater shows, and I'm a full-on content creator, boy, I'm on this thing a lot. I am on this thing a lot. But I'm not concerned. I'm not worried that it's taking over my life or anything like that. It's just that, you know, I think that when times like this come that, you know, <laughs> I should probably give myself a, a, a backup plan. Cause like literally because, you know, this is my side hustle and I spend, you know, I spend like a lot of hours on my day on it. Anytime I'm not hanging out with my girl or hanging out with friends or, you know, <laughs> watching Netflix, which is like more digital consumption, but whatever, it's a little bit different from Instagram. Um, anytime that I'm not doing that, I'm basically like on social media, like studying it and like consuming it and trying to figure out like, you know, and, and just trying to be like inspired by all the things that I see on there. But I got to come up with a plan, man, because like when Instagram starts to not work, man, like I got, I have nothing to do. Can't call my girl, she's at work. Can't call my friends, they at work. Can't call my siblings, they don't like me. No, I'm just, I'm not, that's not actually true, but you know, for, for humor's sake, I'm just going to put that up there. <laughs> ah, man, got to figure out a new plan, but anyways, y'all, by the way, um, a few episodes ago, I did an episode talking about uh, frustrations of an actor trying to make it, that's the title of the uh, podcast, and um nothing official has happened yet so i don't want to make any announcements but i have a feeling that in the very near future i'm going to have a very very positive update from that episode some things have been going on um some prayers seem to have been answered um things seem to be moving in the right direction so hopefully i'll be able to give you guys a, a very 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 positive update um you know coming from that uh last episode because that was a time where i was uh very very frustrated and um you know now we might be looking at a whole you know it gets darkest before the dawn situation um so yeah so yeah so that's really really good um let me see i got a minute and a half left what else do i want to talk about what else do i want to talk about Kawhi, Kawhi leonard Dying to see if he joins my Lakers, man. I was just in Toronto. I was just talking trash with a whole bunch of people over there. They they seem certain that Kawhi is coming back. And, you know, I don't know. Kawhi is from L.A. Grew up a Laker fan. Grew up a Kobe fan. He goes to L.A. That's another championship right there. Back to back. And then he and LeBron will be a pair of teammates to win three to win a, a finals mvp oh sorry what i was about to say was a really really stupid thing but sorry let me try that again him and lebron would both be teammates to win championships on three separate teams lebron cleveland miami and the lakers Kawhi would be spurs raptors and the lakers so it would be a really historic thing i think he should come over you know what i mean let's go get this chip Kawhi. come on like i love canada but but come on over to my team like i would appreciate that a lot more so yeah y'all that's my ramblings for today love you guys for listening and watching peace